All right guys, check it out. This is the new Milwaukee Impact. Right here you have the four modes. Uh, the fourth mode is a little bit interesting. It will like hand take it, tight it to what, 20 foot pounds you said, Eric? Yes. 20 foot pounds and then coming off, it'll give it full torque until it detects that it's loose and then slow it down. So this Jeep right here is, you know, 1986. I doubt this stuff's ever been off of here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the torque control mode and see what happens. Ready? Wow, that's pretty crazy. Did you see what happened yeah, there? Yeah, that was really it cool. It did take it off and it did spin it completely off. So now if we go to mode three, which is probably the most powerful mode, I could probably run it all the way off. Yeah, I can run it all the way off there. But let's tighten it back up. Put it on to put it on the four speed. Yeah, to tighten it. It won't yeah, go okay, through, there's a lot of torque. Because it's only 20 foot pounds. Right, so we'll go to three and we'll tighten this bad boy back up. Man, that thing's got some torque. Torque. So if we go to speed two, obviously that's the difference. Here's speed one. A little less pressure. Speed two. A little more. And then three. So it's got the cool features on it. And they're not gimmicky features. They seem like good features, right? Yeah. Um, but the great thing about this is what, Eric? What that? I was paying attention to what you're saying. The greatest thing about this impact is what? Um, well, where do you want to start? There's actually a lot of good things. First of all, is the size, really. The size, exactly. It's so compact. I mean, obviously, it won't fit here, but if I had a stubby on, it would fit right in here. Yeah. Or exactly. if that was long, if that thing was sticking out more, then it would fit in there. Yeah, or if the, none of this was here. <laughs> <laughs> if none of this was here and there was just a bolt with yes. nothing around it, yes. it would fit. No, <laughs> typical tools in action. No, seriously, though, if I had a stubby, I'd be able to fit on here. You know, you might be able to use a wobble. You could definitely use a, a wobble, but then you're taking away torque. Like um, like a weevil wobble or just a wobble? I don't know what's a weevil wobble. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't know. It's something new that Eric made up, you know? But, I mean... I love the size of it and you have that 18 volt power so it's almost 12 volt size not quite exactly and the light it's definitely not a white bright led light Put but it's, around, that, see. it's got the three leds yeah but it's that true view kind of you know milwaukee like i don't know if that one is that looks, dude it looks yellowish it looks more like it's like around like a 2500 calvin as opposed to the 5000 oh, okay well, no, well, I don't know 5000 is more like that's operating room that's a really white light where it's like around 2000 calvin is more like sunlight outside right yeah what's up everybody welcome to the channel today is a popular video why because it's got some red in it why is milwaukee so popular eric because it's a great tool company they've got a ton of tools and they're just dominating they are just dominating it's a great tool company they got a lot of tools they're doing it right you guys right are they the best out there I don't know, you know? To each his own, man. Some, probably, people, some people like it, and it depends what you're doing. Right, they probably yeah. have the most, I would say, tools, and I like how they're going into, I mean, honestly, I still think they need to really work harder at automotive. They're doing good more than anybody else, except for like Matt Coe and Snap-on on those guys, mm -hmm. but they are definitely getting, uh, you know, better at it, right? Like something like this, if this came out, if this said Snap-on, and went to this, I'd be a tool truck guy, pull up to the Snap-on, the mechanics, this would be like $700, mm -hmm. right? I actually just bought this on Home Depot, what was it, like 240 Two. $2.99? No. Or one ninety nine is a bare tool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So then I think with the kit, obviously it's more, but I don't know. Because it, it came with that 5 volt battery, right? Right. Okay. And you guys, with everything that's going on, you know, it was Saturday night. I ordered it, and it literally arrived Monday morning to my door from, from Home Depot. Depot? Yep. Okay. Yeah, which is, I, Sunday they said it shipped. Hmm. They said Sunday. But... All in all, you guys, I really think that Home Depot, you should be listening. You need a service where, oh, you want that impact within an hour? Okay, it's on its way. Yes. Lowe's, Home Depot listen or up. Lowe's, man. Yes. Why, why can't you? Why can't you? Just hire delivery drivers, just like you have pizza delivery boys, Because right? logistics, too. I don't know if they have that at every single Home Depot. You know what I mean? Well, they might not, but I, I saw on the website that they had three at my local Home Depot. Yeah, so then there you go. Right. You Granted, know. it was 8 o'clock at night, so it probably wouldn't have arrived, but... I mean, still, it's like, you know. I think it's a great feature. If you could order it and have it, like, within an hour or two. Like, uh, I don't understand we, Walmart. The Tools Nation credit card you would be I mean? 
taken away again. It's already taken away. It's already maxed out. No, don't say that. Eric's let me spend a little bit lately, you guys. I'm going to buy some tools. <laughs> cool tools. I bought you something cool, too. Oh, by the way, Keen sent some cookies that I ate up. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. Uh, sorry, dude. I was about to talk to you about that. <clears throat> um, You guys, so yeah, Milwaukee, great company. They're all, you know, I, again, not everything they make is great. You know, they have some winners and they have some losers. Just no, like, everybody, like you said, everyone's got their own thing. Like Hilti and Bosch are awesome with concrete and all that. DeWalt is with their saws. Milwaukee and uh, Makita have a huge line, so you can expand into so many different things. Right. So. The great thing about Milwaukee is their five-year warranty. It is one of the industry-leading warranties, uh, apart from Rigid, which obviously has a lifetime warranty, right? Uh, but the other companies are starting to do the five-year yeah, because three on their batteries, five on the tools, and I think, yeah, the other ones are start. What is DeWalt 3, right? I yeah. Think DeWalt and I mean, you guys, Milwaukee's awesome. The only weak point we have seen is the batteries, though, the 9.0s. For Milwaukee? Yeah, we've just said we, the guys next door had one die, remember? I've only I've known had that one they die. had one die. Oh. oh, you had one die, too? Yeah, if you go to Acme Tools and you see a lot of them. Oh, is there? Yeah. A, I think you're right, yeah, okay. Um, You know... 9.0 batteries. I'm not a 9.0 kind of guy because it's big, especially in a situation like really, this. Really? I love the 9.0s, man. Really? What do you use them for? I use them for the lights because I use the lights all the time. I use them for the table saw, the circular saw. So. Yeah. yeah, for that, I see the 9.0 being in use, you know? But honestly, for this, man, I want a 2.0 or 3.0. They have 3.0. I like the 5.0 with that, you know? Yeah, I do like the 5.0. I mean, the same. Because I love the 5.0. Like, for the actual circular saw, I use the 5.0. For the table saw and miter saw, I use the 9.0. Really? You know, so. Yeah. But you know then they have I love 12.0 the... now? I thought they had a 12. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Maybe the 12. Yeah. Yeah, because they got an 8, a 9, and a 12. So maybe it's a 12. Um, but I love for their impacts and stuff like that. I love their 2, 3.0. Right. You know, the thin pack ones. Those are nice. Yep. You guys, ever since uh, they came out with brushless technology, Milwaukee has been able to shrink these tools up, right? They've been able to make them smaller. And what does that do? It allows you to get into a tighter situation. The scenario we just had on the Jeep, obviously it didn't help us out in that situation. But in most situations, you're able to get up in there, get some high torque power on your work, right? Yes. I mean, if this thing was this long, it's just going to be... You it's hard know, to get on. Yeah. And it, you know, honestly, it's heavier it's, too. Yeah, it's balanced well. Um, I like the walk grips better than Milwaukee. Milwaukee grips, but I feel like Milwaukee's are starting to, I don't know if they've changed a little bit. They're starting to like thin out. I think your hands out. have actually started turning more into a man hand. Oh, okay. Uh, my man hands are you developing. Know. But I mean, honestly, that honestly, feel that. I mean, it feels, no, I know, I love, I've the grip's definitely one. getting better to me. I don't know. I don't feel like it's changed though. I mean, maybe it has, but I don't feel like it's changed. It might not have. I, it might just be that tool, right? Um, honestly, you guys, this is one of the coolest tools in my arsenal right now. I think it's awesome. I do use Ingersoll Rand currently at the shop to work on all these Jeeps, but I'm slowly going into the Milwaukee M18 line. Now, granted, I do use strictly M12 for all my automotive needs, but for the bigger power stuff, I'm going to be going into the Milwaukee just because, um, you know, you're getting better than Snap-on, you're getting better than Matco, and you're, you know, Pretty much all I use is Milwaukee too. Yeah. That's a lot of the stuff, except when I've had to do concrete. I've used, like I said, Hilti and Bosch, but other than that, I've Pretty much use almost all Milwaukee. But see, I'm a DeWalt fan though. I think DeWalt's drills are better. Now, 18 volt, 12 volt, Milwaukee kills it. But yeah, I, I mean, just for me, because I have the, I have Milwaukee. It's hard for me. I love the DeWalt stuff, but I just don't like having the two battery platforms. So I, I know much it's a pain, isn't it? One. It is. It's you a know? pain. It is. Like today, you guys, I'm just going to pick up a new Jeep, and I got to run the wrench, winch. Yeah. And in my truck, I'm carrying that cobalt, cobalt, right? But the battery's half dead now, so I'm like, oh, so now I have to get a, a DeWalt. I'm like, I have tons of DeWalt batteries yes. and you guys are going to charge it. So it, it's pretty crazy. But the, the DeWalt has a great 12 volt lineup. It's just that there's just not a lot in that lineup. Same thing know? with their 20 volt. I don't feel like there's a ton in that. They've got great saws, great drills and impacts and all that. But Yeah, not for the automotive don't. section. Yeah, I'm saying even for the you know GC, I mean, like if you're just doing general contracts and all that, they've got some stuff, but their line is not big. Yeah. Yeah, not at all. You guys, it has the three LEDs on the front. One thing I did notice about these LEDs, he said he didn't notice it, but they're got a yellowish hue to it. No, this, I was the one who told you that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Eric told me that. No, it's, yeah, it's weird. And it's not just because they're dirty, but they're, they got like a yellowish, maybe on there they look white. But. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Milwaukee was playing around with that a few years back about that true view, you know, how you can see the colors better. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if that's true. But to me, I just like white bright. That's no, like I said, it's based on the Calvin. Like, I think the true view is, I don't think it's any special technology, and I could be wrong, but it's more instead of having a dimmer, like a 2000 or 2500 Calvin, which is more like the sunlight, which is yellowish, it's more of a 5000, which is a white kind of operating type, you know. Right. 
you know, like I don't know what these are, but. No, I get you. Uh, you guys, four modes on this. You have speed one, speed two, speed three. It gradually gets more torque over it. And then the fourth is the intelligent mode. Which is which, what? Uh, basically will give you, uh, if you're locking something down, 20 uh, foot pounds of torque. <laughs> Did you just fire or something? I didn't. I just still think of the one video when you play it at half speed. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. If you guys want to have some fun, play this at half speed. And maybe you'll subscribe then. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, you guys, the, the 20 foot-pounds, when you're going uh, on speed four, it'll stop at 20 foot-pounds. And when you're rotating off, it will rotate full throttle until it hits least resistance, and then it'll slow down on you. Mm -hmm. So kind of that's kind of a useful intelligent, because a lot of times you see um, – you know that intelligent stuff and it's like ah it doesn't work it's more of a pain in the butt yes you'd rather yes. just feather the trigger use the trigger I feel sometimes on impacts that's how they are like an impact driver sometimes you have that you have that and you're trying to do a you know fasten a screw or sink a screw and that actually ends up causing more aggravation on certain right applications. certain applications it's great but i think it's more useful on here yeah and i think that uh you know like the one key scenario with something like this is not useful you know i don't know that even does this have one key no they don't have it in one key no. but i know everybody talks about that one key have you done anything in one key like any of your tools have you done in one key no i mean i messed around with the recip saw one time but that was about it, it was just, but just to mess around and see what it was like though, yeah right? yeah i mean honestly i see the where one key comes in if you're you know um a huge company and you have you know 20 guys that need an exact specification for a tool you can dial it and customize it i think that's great inventory tracking i think that's great i think that's awesome well even for the little guy the guy who's like okay I'm, i do a lot of drywall all the time but i also do this other stuff hey i can just set it to drywall mode you know what i mean i don't think I like you get a lot of those guys Ah, dude, those are gadgety of, guys. You know, those are gadgety guys. Uh, you know, I mean, a lot of them are like, you know, like like Stuart the tool guy is like all, you know, like ooh, one key. Uh, like his crew would be all gadgety with that. But a guy out on the job site just trying to get the job done, man, he's gonna want to just use his. Finger. I would have to say ninety percent of it, you're right. You but know, there are people who use the one. Yeah, the one I mean, key. it's definitely good to be there, but I'm glad that they don't throw it in there and then it, this, this thing costs more, right? Does it actually one key up the price? Uh, I don't know. I believe so. I mean, if you buy something that's non one key versus one key, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. And then they have those little one key tracker things. Yeah, they got those. But I mean, those are like tiles. They don't really. I mean, if they if they GPS tracked everywhere, like literally, you put it in your car and you can follow it everywhere, it'd be awesome. Be but great. it's only like it's crowdsourced, so it's pretty mm -hmm. much just like you know, if it sees it, if I steal Eric's tool and I go run over to Randy's shop and Randy has the one key app on his phone and it says, "Ooh, I see Eric's tool here." Yeah. You know, you're just gonna get. It's that. just the last place. Yeah. So. Um, and then you know, then you gotta go confront the person. You know, I mean, I don't. Makes know. it for an interesting day. All right, you guys, so that's it from Milwaukee. We're uh, actually putting a bunch of Jeeps together right now, and I'm actually going to buy a new Jeep tomorrow. So we'll be putting this thing to good use. Actually, I don't know about the one tomorrow. They say it's got a blown head gasket, but then in the conversa same conversation, she tells me it's got a rod knock. So it's like, man, is this thing going to need a motor? If it does, this thing's going to come in handy, you know? Follow our stories. Follow us over at the Tiki Talk. That's where Eric's famous. That's where everybody knows him from. Every, dude, oh my, you know how famous you are at TikTok? At least three followers. Like, I, I get like hundreds, hundreds of requests a day saying, who is that guy? Where can I see him? Where can I meet him? Is that Chevy Chase? It is, man. It and is. I'm like, I'm like, you know, hey, for 50 bucks, I'll, I'll send you his autograph. Is that where I'm sending all that stuff? Yeah. Oh, I was, I was Thanks, wondering why you wanted me to send Chevy's name and not my name. Yeah, I've been making wondering. some okay. money That makes that. sense. All right, you guys, peace. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to Tools in Action dot com.